So there's something really ironic in a beautiful way and kind of like powerful way about us being two black guys that are in a, in a house in Franklin, Tennessee, here where these battles were fought, here where many black people were killed, both in war and unjustly. You are the beaten in my if we were to make our mark in this town as musicians and as black musicians, that playing the Grand Ole Opry would be kind of the, the pinnacle for that, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word. The only thing that I could hope for as a black musician and not being a primary country musician, only thing I could hope for from the audience was their attention. And they gave it to us. You know, from from and a standing ovation, we got to stand we got to stand an ovation. ovation but well, yeah. <laughs> what I was hoping that I would get from that, I just wanted their under their unbiased, undivided attention, so that they they can they can make the correlation between the music that they came to see and the music that we make as Black people, and and even in 2020, like there's a real correlation between country music and soul music. It's, it's, it's right there. I know you're gonna say you can't stay. 